Introduction and Implementation of List in Python. List in Python, as the name suggests, list is an ordered sequence of data. In real life, if you could make a list thing that come to your mind or event of any specific purpose, it could be something like this. So this first is a entity, second is a name, third is a count number, fourth is a pi value and fifth is a string. Well, this is my list. You could make your own list and include whatever you want in it. So in my list, I have included what I do early in the morning, the city I live in, my phone number, the value of pi, two, two digit and mom. It has different types of data, string, float and integer. Well, this is a kind of flexibility Python list provides. It can hold elements of different data types. Declaring a list is fairly straightforward. You have to use a square bracket and separate the items by comma. Let me write an example. Capital A is equal to in opening and closing square bracket, brush, name of city, phone number, value of pi and a string, mom. Lists are mutable. So if you want to change some item in a list, you can do that. For example, I don't like brush and I want to replace it with morning walk. I can do it A is equal to morning walk, then the name of the city, phone number, value of pi and a string. Some of the essential features of Python list are, it is a collection of values, can be of any data types, can be a combination of different data types. Now we will see some example of list. I'm creating a list with the name data science is equal to in opening and closing square bracket, I am passing string, EDA, NumPy, Panda, SciPy, Scikit-learn and data visualization. Data science list is created. How to assess the element of the list? To assess an element of the list, you can give the name of the list in front of it in opening and closing square bracket index of the element to be assessed. In Python, indexing starts with zero. So if you want to zero the element of the list, list name in square bracket and the index zero. So it will result, it will return EDA. If you want to assess pandas from this list, it is at index two. EDA is at index zero, NumPy is at index one, and pandas is at index two. So when we write list name in front of it, opening and closing square bracket and two, it will return the third element of the list, which is at index position two. Click on the cell and run the cell, we get the output pandas. List are mutable. Mutable means we can change the element of the list. If I want to change the element at index zero as statistics, then what should I do? I will write the list name in front of it in opening and closing parenthesis index I want to change. So I want to change the element at index zero and I am assigning a new value a string statistics to it. Now, after running this cell, if we print the content of data science list. It is statistics, NumPy, Panda, SciPy, Scikit-learn, and data visualization. EDA is replaced by statistics. Now, list slicing. If, you, if I want sub part of the list, then I can use slicing, similar to what we seen previously in string, string slicing, where in front of opening and closing parentheses, we give start index, colon, the end index. End index is not included, means it should be last index minus one. So I want element from index number one to index number three, then what should I write? Name of the list in front of it, opening and closing uh, square bracket, element at index one, colon, four, because it will run till last index minus one. So one, two, three index element will be retrieved. So click on the cell and run the cell. Index at position one is NumPy. In, uh, element at index two 
is pandas element as index 3 is scipy and element at index 4 is ignored it runs till last index minus 1 negative indexing in list so when you are using negative indexing the last element is indexed as minus 1 second last element is index is indexed as minus 2 third last element is indexed as minus 3 so until the starting of the list so if i want the last element to be assessed i will write uh, the list name in front of it in opening and closing parenthesis last element index as minus 1 click on the cell and run the cell you can see data visualization is printed on the user screen now when if you want to add a element at the end of the list you can use append function so here list name is data science then we are running the append function and new element which we are want to add is a string eda so append in, in front of it opening and closing parenthesis we give a string eda this eda will be added to the end of the list data science if we print the content of list data science you can see at the last a new element eda was added to the original data science list now now if you want to insert an element to a given position or index in the list, you can use the insert function. So to the list data science, I want to insert at index 5 a string matplotlib. So I will call list dot insert in front of it, opening and closing parenthesis, index at which I want to insert uh, the new element in this case it is 5 and what element i have to insert matplotlib so index at 0 is statistic 1 is numpy 2 is pandas 3 is scipy 4 is scikit-learn so 5 will be matplotlib and then after that data visualization and eda will be displayed so after running this cell when we print the content of data science list you can see matplotlib was inserted at index position 5. Moving to the next part, we are creating a different list with name data science lifecycle. Now this data science lifecycle contains many elements like problem understanding, data collection, data cleaning and preparation, exploratory data analysis, feature engineering, machine learning, model evaluation and data visualization. So this is list number two. This list is created. If you want to print the content of the list, we will write the list name and press shift enter. Content of the list will be printed on the user screen. Now, if you want to concatenate two list or append second list at the end of the first list, you can use the plus operator. So concatenating two list. So what we are doing, we are concatenating data science list with data science life cycle list and storing it in data science list itself. So click on the cell and run the cell. And when you print the content of data science list, now it is updated with the content of data science life cycle also. So you have statistics, NumPy, Panda, SciPy, Scikit-learn, Matplotlib, data visualization, ADA, problem understanding, data collection, data cleaning and preparation, exploratory data analysis, feature engineering, machine learning, model evaluation and data visualization. Note, when you are using a list, you can not directly add element to the list using the plus operator. For example, to the data science list, if I want to add a string C bond, this cannot be done directly using the plus operator. If we run the cell, this will throw an error. Cannot only concatenate list we can only concatenate list to a list, not a string. Now, next is a length function. So length function is used to find the length of the list. So when you run the length function on the list data science, it will return an output 16, means there are 16 element inside the data science list. Now, checking whether an element is present inside the list or not. So this can be done using in operator, which checks membership if the element is present inside the list, it will return true. If it is not present inside the list, it will return false. So we are checking whether C born is in data science. So it will check whether C born is in data science or not. So 
here we can see that C1 library is not present in the data science list. Therefore, it will return a false. Now, what we will do, we will append C1 at the ending of the list by using append function. So list name dot append and then you use C1. This will append C1 at the end of data science list. And then after appending, if you print data science list now, you can see C1 is present as a last element. And if you run a membership test, that is C1 in data science, then it will return a true.